All parties in the matter of Harris versus Ricard. Step forward. Jamisha Harris and her daughter, 24-year-old Jatavia, are suing former friends, Cornell and Gwendolyn Ricard, for damage to Jamisha's home while Gwendolyn and her kids lived with them. Miss Harris, you and your daughter live together? Yes. Who else lives with you? That's a bracer. How old are you? Six. These people were friends of whose? Of mine. And what caused them to move into your residence? Um, Gwen had called me and told me that she was in a situation with her husband and she did not have anywhere to go with her children. So I asked my mother if she could come and stay with her for a little while. When was that? July. Of last year? Yes. And how long did they stay? Until October 31st. And they had their own room? Yes, they stayed in my room. And where did you go? I stayed with my boyfriend. In another residence? Yes. So you actually moved out so that they could move in? Yes. Are you back at your mother's house now? Yes, I am. Are you the husband? Mm -hmm. Not on the ha. Yes is the answer. Yes, I, I am. When did you come to the house? Almost a month later. So sometime in August. Mm -hmm. How come? Just to be closer with my kids. Well, she left you mm -hmm. for a reason. Yeah, but we reconciled, so it was okay. Why didn't you reconcile in your own house? It's a long story. And we just was with our mom, my, well, my mom, and that didn't work out either, so. So you went to stay with whose mom? Mine, that didn't work out, so we went to stay with Miss Harris. Why didn't it work out with your mother? Uh, too many people for one in her house already. That's it. it he is said that um, the mom was asking for a lot of his money. And, you know, he would give her money and apparently it wasn't enough. Did they pay you rent when they lived with you? They gave me money to pay on the light bill. How much a month? He would give me either 200 or or $100. And I put that towards the light bill. It is your claim that they damaged property while they were there? Yes. yes. What property? They damaged my bed. How? Her daughters peed in the bed. And it was said that they also spilt NyQuil or something like that in the bed and juice as well. Okay. Respond. Yes, ma'am. Um, did you? The NyQuil. Did you have, just a second, do you have a child? That, yes, I did do. Is that child a little girl? Yes, it's a How little. How old? Two year old girl. Did she urinate in the bed? Yes, she was being potty trained. Okay, so the answer is yes. Yes. Do you have the cost of a new mattress? Yes, ma'am, I do. How much? $3,799. That's an expensive mattress. What yes. kind of mattress was in there? A, a Tempur-Pedic Tempur mattress. Oh, okay. Can I see that, please? And I can also give you the receipt for the other mattresses. as I'd well. I'd like to see it. Can I say something, Your Honor? Sure. Before we got to the state where we had to initially stay with Ms. Harris, the mattress had already occurred depreciation. Listen, let me explain what? something to you. It's her mattress. Right. She doesn't have to sleep on a mattress that your daughter urinated on. Yes, Do you understand that? Yes, ma'am. So you have to buy her a new mattress. The mattress is actually completely I bet, soiled. Just a second. Does it look like you're losing? <laughs> so then what possible motivation do you have other than to annoy me? Okay. To shout out. Okay. Do you understand? I, I understand. Right. Great. You paid twenty one forty three for the mattress. Yes. That's what it is. Twenty one forty three. What else did they ruin? A fifty five inch television. How did they ruin it? They threw a toy at it. Who threw a toy? Her daughter, uh, Destiny. Destiny. And how do you know it was her daughter? Um, Bryson told me. He was there when it uh, occurred. Bryson, you want to come up here? Sure. Hi. Hi. You know how important it is to tell me the truth? Mm -hmm. You have any idea what can happen to you if you don't tell me the truth? Mm, I don't know. Nothing good. <laughs> Got it? Got it. 